All right, today I'm going to show you how to build floating shelves. Nice little shelves. There's no brackets underneath or on top. They just just pull out. Here you go. That's what we're doing today. All right, so what I figured we'd do first, we're gonna take this three quarter inch, we're gonna cut it down and that's what's gonna be attached to the wall. And we'll make the shells out of this quarter inch. We're just gonna sand it up and paint it because it's kind of just some random wood, nothing special. Second thing, first beer. So these shelves are going to be 14 long, 6 inches wide, hidden shelves as you saw, and we're going to somehow make this is what attaches to the wall, and then we'll slide on there. I'm thinking when we cut these down, we'll get some one bys and we'll cut those down and everything will just kind of go right on there. So. We'll get you up high, I'll do some figuring and we'll just time lapse as I cut. All right, this stand I made is terrible, but we're gonna keep using it. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna link these together. They're the size of our three quarter. And then we're gonna face it with the quarter inch. And that'll be our little tiny shelf. Shouldn't be too hard, I got some stuff. little clamps here that will hold it. I forgot to thaw my glue out in front of the fire. But we'll see what works. It hasn't been that cold. It's a weird winter. And I don't have to worry about this being crazy strong because it will be faced. Test out these little gizmos. gonna hold it in place and ram her home into my finger. Oh I got it. Second one.
I'll have to figure out as we go what you guys want to watch and just unless you just want me to hyper laughs all the time. Okay, we got our little body, nice and simple. Now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna cut the pieces for to face it and we'll put it on. figure this out so we got here is one's the top one's the bottom right and what's gonna happen is this slots what's gonna slip into the the wall hanger whatever I whatever he tells me to put on the wall is how I'm gonna do it he hasn't told me yet but we'll figure it out now I gotta make little slots in here. Nothing has to be perfect because I will router everything around and it'll eventually look good. I gotta listen to some music so you can't see me. Yeah, I, this stand sucks. We'll get another one at some point. Uh, be a little bit for me. I gotta figure this out. I'm gonna listen to music. I'll bring it back in when when he tells me what to do. All right, so we got our pieces here. I got everything marked out. They're gonna be faced like this business. Like that, and that'll give us a nice little box, probably. We'll see what happens. Now go there. All right, we'll get work on it. Stop moving. All right. So I went ahead and I cut another one. Got it done. I cut more pieces for the second shelf. We're going to go ahead and finish this one. And some of you may notice I did a big goof. But as with always, this is I drink and I make stuff. Goofs are going to happen. And we'll fix it later. So there's different grades of plywood, three quarter inch and stuff. As you can see, this stuff is three, three ply. So it's basically just the cheapest you can get. It's, it's the equivalent of using one ply toilet paper. Hi. So it's the equivalent of like using one ply toilet paper, but we're gonna paint it. So it doesn't need to look that good. So my goof was, see how that hangs over? It was supposed to be back and this was supposed to be up. So as you look at it, there's no, you know, you can't see that edge. But I guess we'll just use a heck of a lot more paint, maybe fill it in with some glue and then lots of, uh, lots of paint, it'll still look good. We're gonna paint these, not sure what color yet, but Come along, so right now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna put them together. And we'll go from there. Put these on. Cut off the backs, and then we'll have a nice little shelf. And we'll hyperlapse you.
All right, so what I did, is I got them finished. Yeah, until nice and smooth, but again, I wanted this to cover up here, but it is what it is. We're gonna paint the crap out of it. Uh, instead of letting the glue dry forever, I just use those 23 gauge pin nails. Oh man, there's, there's dust in here. Ugh. I sanded down the bottom. I took it over to my belt sander, sanded everything down. Now I gotta get you know some 120, 150, and then 220. Sand it up real nice. Um, I think I want to take, I think my dog's trying to get in. I think I want to take my router and I'm going to route just a little bit off these corners just to make them uniform. I was going to do it on the belt sander, but I'll use the router. We'll see you guys in a minute. I'm going to find my dog. He wants to come in. All right, I got my routing table set up with a quarter inch eighth inch bit. With little spinny doodad. We're just gonna get all the edges here. We got these routered out, very little edge on it, and then now we're gonna we're gonna sand the piss out of them. And then we'll have to buy paint at some point, but then we'll work on um, how we attach them to the wall. Um, I think he wants me to try the Craig, the Keurig, the Craig. What, pocket holes and we'll drill that into the wall we're not holding a lot we're only holding like succulent plants and tissue boxes it doesn't have to be special so I think I'll pocket hole drill in the back we'll put them in we'll show you guys that a hyperlapsia while I do this actually no you guys know what sanding looks like I gotta listen to music all right so I went ahead and I cut the three quarter down. Everything's sanded, everything's good. Boom. This is, ah. Nice and tight. Fits in there. This is what'll be attached to the wall. I'm gonna put a couple of the pocket hole jigs in it and we'll we'll just put a bunch in and hopefully we can hit a stud because we're just going to stagger them by the bathroom you guys also missed bring it down without screwing anything up oh boy don't fall let me show you what i did this is why we have to do hyperlapse all the time Instead of me doing music, we'll get another camera uh, next year because I won't be doing videos for long. Where'd it go? So I was pushing this through the table saw to cut off just a hair. I pushed it through and I brought it back for some reason. And it jumped. I thought I lost my finger, but I didn't. 
Look at that, it cut all the way through. I mean, you can see that was pretty close. So we'll have to do hyperlapse for when I cut my fingers off. That's probably the only reason people are going to subscribe to this crap. We're going to do some poly shade stain and we'll hyperlapse you now. It's got polyurethane, everything in it. We're going to stain them up instead of paint, I guess. I think it'll look real nice on these. These sand it up pretty nice. And if not, we'll just build more. It didn't take that long. The wife doesn't like it, we'll build more. All right. See you guys in a bit. All right, that actually turned out pretty cool. I didn't think this one ply toilet paper type wood would stain up like that, but it doesn't even look bad that it's screwed up on the front. It'll sit on the wall, you know, trinkets and toilet paper, uh, whatever she puts on it. There, now they're gonna sit in front of the fire and they're gonna dry for a little bit. And I'm gonna figure out some pocket holes and some random other stuff. All right, I'm going to bring you into this one. Got my nice router set up. I like this little guy. It's fun. It's big. It's cool stuff. Got it all set to cut about a half inch. A little less. So, since these are hidden shelves and they're just going to pull off, why not put some hidden thing in there? You can hold your thumb drives with your money. Whatever you want. We're gonna route it out. Shells go over. No one will know. Except for you guys. We'll do a hyperlapse and I'll do all that. It's dusty in here. Turn on my vent fan. All right, well, that wasn't fun. Got a router out. I did a whole bunch of pocket holes here. At least one of them, maybe two, will be in a stud in the wall, and we'll put some brackets in back or whatever it'll sit there the shelves will fit over it and you can put like a dollar in there i don't know holy cow let sneeze so tell you guys i did a project with some oak look how burnt that out burnt out that is just bad so these are like walmart bits i think or this whole kit Tell you about router bits. I think I paid 16 to 20 bucks for this entire kit. And they work fine for the little things I'm doing. But I'll tell you what, I just bought some, a few different kinds. 
and they're literally like 20 bucks a piece. So happy for that. I'll just keep growing what I need. I got some of the plunge router ones like that, a little bit thicker, so I can plunge in and do this kind of work. But invest in router bits, that does work for little bits of stuff, what you need. Nothing, nothing crazy. At this point, we're just waiting for these to dry. Um, did almost have an accident. As I blew everything off or routing, everything went and stuck on. Because as you can see here, there's the pieces. And I blew all this sawdust right onto them. Luckily, they were dry enough. I was able to blow them off and get them cleaned up. They're drying. I, it takes a little bit to dry, not too long with this. And I'm going to listen to some music and figure out what he wants me to do next. All right, we've come to the cleanup part. Also, I just realized my box fan that I had in front of my fire had been pointing that way, not that way towards the fire for months now. It's always on low. I guess I never realized it. Now we'll get some heat going. Dumb. All right, I hope you guys enjoy the cleanup as much as I don't. Let me know if you want it like faster, hyperlapsed, or slower. Um, I know there's only one or two people that watch these videos, so. Got our parts here. You got a little bit of dust on them that I don't like. When they dry, we'll take some uh, thousand grit to them here in a couple minutes. And we got the two parts here that'll go into the wall with the pocket holes. Said it's not holding much. We're just going to see if this works. Um, I don't like using the pocket hole crap because it's terrible. So we'll just be using this extra long T25 bit. I bought it specifically for tasks like this, not this task, but some I can use to put some actual like, you know, two and a half inch, two and three quarters um, screws in. And they slot, they're different. tight which is good you slot in like that Ooh, pizza's done this one slots in here nice and tight nice little shells I'm gonna give it a little bit I'm gonna bring it in I'm gonna bring some sandpaper 
you see my mouth moving or not moving I can talk without moving my mouth it's kind of cool huh anyway bring it in bring the sandpaper in I think I got six eight thousand I'll bring what I have I'll sand them up a little bit clean them up and then we'll hang them 